prayed every night that he would escape. Who the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. It, this movie is a, is, a, is, a, is a part two to the first movie 40 years later. So um, in this movie, uh, uh, Michael's been in jail for a long time and, uh, and Lori and her daughter and her granddaughter are, are, uh, are, going to, are going to encounter a lot of trouble when Michael gets out of jail. There's a reason we're supposed to be afraid of this night. I've been preparing for this for a long time. It is not safe to be on the street tonight. Go home! Get out of here! Get inside! Always a good time for, uh, for a scary movie, and I think uh, right now there's a lot of, um, you know, nostalgia. Um, it is, 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 uh, came out of that, and, and, and even Jurassic Park came out of that. And, um, and there hasn't been a Halloween movie in a long time. And there hasn't been a good Halloween movie, maybe, since the first one John did. So it was exciting to try and make another one. He is a killer, but he will be killed tonight. Happy Halloween, Michael. I can't do a movie that's not I'm not excited about. Otherwise, it would I wouldn't I wouldn't do it. But I was particularly excited about this because the opportunity to, to work with John and to work with Jamie Lee Curtis and to kind of pair them with David Gordon Green and Danny McBride to get that group of people working together on Halloween. For sure, one of the more exciting, one of the kind of the high points of my my career for sure was to get to do that and get to do it with the four of them. Michael, he's here.